What's going on guys? My name is Kyle. You have made it to Obsessed Auto and today I don't have a trailer out there, but we're gonna go to my trailer because I had a light bulb burn out. Stupid simple process. It's just filament burnt. So it's a 30 no, it's not a 30. It's not a wedge bulb. It's an 1157 bulb and stupid simple to change. Um, all you need, Phillips head screwdriver and obviously a new light bulb. So we're going to get in the truck, go to O'Reilly's, pick up some new bulbs and see you at O'Reilly's. Almost to O'Reilly's. Um, I'm going to cheat a little bit. I've got the little M12 fuel, got a Phillips head on it. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna go over to the storage facility that I keep my trailer, pop that in there. Cause the other night when that bulb um, popped, so the running light portion of that bulb popped and I put in an 1156 and that brought back the running light, but it thought circuitry wise that the brake was on. So it was initiating my trailer brakes. So I drug my brakes for, I don't know, I think, three miles which could be way worse but it sure stunk so we're gonna address this today and then I very well may look in the future into upgrading to LEDs that is something that I've been considering I mean it's a brand new trailer but it was really 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 cheap um, so you know the build quality on it's not the best but yeah I mean you get what you pay for especially when it comes to trailers and stuff like that but I do have something neat on the trailer that I'll show you guys. It's, uh, I don't know, just my little aftermarket spiffy up to where I can buy cars that don't run and make my life very simple. So, anyways, almost O'Reilly's. It is right up there. Like, look at this nonsense. What are we doing? So, O'Reilly's is right there. Pick up some bulbs. Um, potentially pick up a mirror for the dune buggy. And I'll see you guys in a second. Good things are happening. Mirror for the buggy. Got some replacement glass. Give that a shot. And then got some 1157 Ico bulbs. Pack of 10. Because you can never have enough light bulbs. All right, boys and girls. There's the turd right there. Let's see here. We're going to need one bulb. These Ico 10 packs are fantastic. One new 1157. We're gonna recycle the 1156 that I pull out of it because it's brand new as well. Drill, we are in park. Let's go show you how to change a tail light bulb on a trailer. We've got four screws in the corner. They are all Phillips. And what that's for is this plastic fascia that filters the light and turns it red. Well, that's not what we're going for, but it works. Oh no, the screw fell out. <laughs> well, that sucks. Hmm. Interesting. Well, anyways, so for these style bulbs, you push in and twist. And she's got a little lock mechanism that you got to line up. So that little tit right there, you just line it up, twist. And then to bring it out, you just got to line it back up, and twist. So new bulb, put her in there. Thank you. 
there she goes all right back to this screw situation well she's gone forever that's fine all right so we will put dot numbers back on the bottom lens is on Two, three, because four is gone. Anyways, that is literally all you got to do to replace your taillight bulb on a trailer. And uh, now, I think I'm gonna get on you or on. <laughs> I'm gonna get on YouTube. I'm gonna do that too when I upload this video. But I think I'm gonna get on Amazon, order some LEDs. I think that's what we're gonna do anyways this is my neat little box that I was gonna show you so inside of this box is a battery 12,000 pound winch got a little solar maintainer charger it's just all nice and consolidated I don't know it makes my life a little bit easier when I buy a car that doesn't run get back in the truck because it's hot and I'm fat working on that anyways that's all I've got for this video it's kind of a mod podge hodgepodge nonsense but if you've got a trailer or a camper boat whatever it's gonna be that style if it's not LED and it's pretty pretty stinking simple to replace it all right well that pretty much sums up this video so the overall gist of this, I guess, was going to be replace the bulb on a trailer. So, if you did find this helpful, drop a like button, share it. Um, you do like content like this, you like how I deliver things, certainly subscribe to the channel. That greatly helps me and shows me that what I'm doing is making a difference for you guys, helping you out in your day-to-day -day activities. Um, that's about all I have. I do hope that you guys have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.